Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five scientific proofs that the Bible is accurate, thus alluding to the fact that the Bible is actually divinely inspired. So let's dive right in. Number five, the earth is round. Regardless of what flat earthers say, the Bible actually says that the earth is round. In Isaiah 40, 22, it says, that it is he who sits above the circle of the earth. This word circle is translated to kuth, which means to be spherical or a compass, alluding to the fact that the earth is actually round, not flat. It wasn't until hundreds of years later when Aristotle noticed that the ships were going over the horizon and by studying the eclipse of the moon, that the earth was actually round. Who knows, if he would have read his Bible Maybe he would have saved hours of endless research because the Bible revealed that earth was round hundreds of years earlier. In fact, this verse inspired Christopher Columbus to sail around the world. Number four, DNA, life in the blood. In Leviticus 17, 11, it says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar, to make atonement for your souls. It wasn't until 120 years ago when advancements in red blood cells and DNA was discovered that yes, the life of the flesh is in the blood. Before then, doctors would bleed patients who were sick, thinking that it would only make them better, but in reality, it made them a lot sicker. See, nowadays, we give blood transfusions because we know that the life of the flesh is in fact in the blood. Just like the Bible said, thousands of years ago. Number three, speech and radio and light waves. In Job 38 verse 35, it says, Can you send out lightnings that they may go and say to you, Here we are? Hinting to the fact that light can manifest as speech. It wasn't until 120 years ago that we discovered that, yes, we could send messages in the form of light and radio waves instantaneously around the world. But the writer of Job knew this thousands of years ago. Number two, the earth is suspended in space. In Job 26, seven, it says that he hangs the earth on nothing. It was common belief that giant animals held the earth in space in the time of Isaiah. In fact, we didn't discover that the earth was hung on nothing until 1650. Somehow, Isaiah knew this between 740 and 680 BC. And finally, dinosaurs in the Bible. Job 40, verses 15 through 24 says, Behold now, behemoth, which I made with you. He eats grass like an ox. Lo now, his strength is in his loins, and his force is in his navel. He moves his tail like a cedar. The sinews of his stones are wrapped together. His bones are as strong as pieces of brass. His bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of all the ways of God. He who made him can make his sword approach unto him. Surely the mountains bring him forth food, where all the beasts of the field play. He lives under shady trees in the comfort of the reeds and fins. The shady trees covered him with their shadows. The willows of his brook compass about him. Behold, he drinks up a river and haste not he trusts that he can draw up the Jordan to his mouth. He takes it with his eyes and his nose pierces through snares. Some commentators believe that this is speaking of the hippo, but it's clear that hippos do not have a tail like a cedar tree. Also, when it says that he can make his sword approach into him, it's obviously talking about the extinction of these massive animals. So what do you think? Is the Bible completely accurate? If you want to learn more and you like this video, click the link below. And until next time, may God bless you and your family.